guys uh, this week we're gonna go over uh, how to set up the ice tub obviously after that first video me getting in showing my morning routine we got a lot of questions on how to set one up quick and easy it's actually really not that hard at all mine is a whirlpool I want to say it was like a 14.8 cubic foot inside not very big at all obviously I'm only five foot five you know, if you can get it inside, that'd be great. I have mine outside. I live in Southern California, so it's really not that bad. If you can get it out of like the weather, probably better. But yeah, so the first thing, uh, I got mine at Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere, or you can even look on Craigslist for old, ch it's basically just a chest freezer. Mine costs like, I think it was like 440 bucks. That's not crazy. I started with a 10 cubic foot. It was a little tight for me. I'm five foot five, 170 pounds, not a big guy. If you were bigger than me, I would go with at least 14 foot cubic foot. So I just upgraded mine about right before my surgery and just started to get to use it again for about two weeks now or a week. So when you get your tub, uh, if yours is like mine where it has like plastic insides, you actually are gonna wanna, what you're gonna wanna do is get some caulk. Uh, the best stuff that I found, it's a FDA approved, it's more, it's for like uh, working with the food. And so it's um, RTV 4500 high strength silicone sealant. USDA approved. Also, it's good for it's good with water. It doesn't mold. Um, it has less chemicals than normal caulk does. So, and it, and it only takes about 24 hours for it to dry before you can fill it. So, I actually filled it without doing the sealant uh, on the cracks on the lines on the inside, and it was starting to rust on the bottom, which is weird because it's plastic. Basically, what was happening, I think, is the water was going inside the walls, and then hitting something metal and then the, the rusty water was kind of dripping back out. Definitely do it before you fill up the, fill it up with water. Like I said, use a, like something for the food industry, silicone um, and uh, water resistant, obviously. So that's what I found to be the best. All right, so once you have your, your silicone on and then you wait 24 hours, then you're gonna wanna fill it with water. I fill mine about a little over halfway. What you can use for the plug is you can either use one of those manual hand timers that you set to however many hours you want to run it, like an outdoor, like for like lights or something like that, uh, plug it into that. Or I have a Bluetooth one that connects to your phone and you can schedule to run it for a certain amount of times because you're not going to want this thing running obviously 24 hours or it would just freeze into a big block of ice. If you want to get it down to temperature that day, dump a couple bags of ice into it, uh, probably three typically. If not, you actually just need to let it run for about 24 to 48 hours and that should get it down to about temperature. Uh, get a thermometer so you know what kind of water, uh, what the, what the te water temperature is. I have an ink bird and so you just dump it in and that, that way you can just leave it in at all times and it tells you what temperature is. Like mine's sitting at 38 degrees right now. Get one of these little half nifty guys as well. This one doesn't seem to be as on as the other one. This one runs a little cold. I don't know, I, I think it's hitting the wall actually. Get a thermometer. Uh, so you know what your temperature is sitting at. I like to have mine sitting around 35 degrees, 30, 34, 35 degrees. And you're gonna have to play with how long you run it to get it down to that temperature, like at night. Like I run mine for about two and a half hours every night. Another good thing you're gonna wanna get is obviously when you're getting in and out of the tub, if you wipe your feet off or actually rinse off, it's good for it. it will, it'll kind of keep it cleaner a little longer, I guess. I got a little, one of these little, uh, basically a little net almost, like a water and you can scoop out any like crap that gets in there uh, so it stays cleaner a little longer. You also want to have it so you can see that mine's actually sitting on a tilt a little bit. I actually just put a two by four underneath here at the bottom so that it drains. Uh, there is actually a drain plug on all of these. I typically change my water every probably two to three weeks. When it gets really murky, uh, you'll, you'll start to realize like, yeah, okay, I need to probably change this water out. Some people use salt in them. Some people use like a tablespoon of peroxide as well. I don't do that uh, or I just haven't tried it yet to help speed up the process because there's this doesn't drain very fast is I'll just take a bucket and scoop the water out and drain it at the same time. Another big thing obviously is anytime that you're getting into it, I, like I said, I rinse off, get all that, you know, sweat and oil off of you, you know, wipe your feet off as you're getting in and that'll help keep it cleaner a little longer. Anytime you're getting into this tub, always unplug it. I never, I never get into it while it's plugged in. You just don't want to take a chance. I don't, you know, I don't know if there's any way for you to get electrocuted or not, but might as well just go ahead and unplug it. You know, the benefits of this, um, for me, a lot of times is just the mental side of it, right? No one wants to get into a cold tub at, that's 35 degree water. It's something that I struggled with when I went through my military training was getting in cold water. And so for me, it's kind of always just been like, once I kind of started lear learning about some of the benefits for the immune system boosting, you know, things like that, I, I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. For me, it was just this mental, like, 
All right, I'm gonna start my day out like this. This is definitely by far probably gonna be one of the hardest things I do. If I can get my, if I can start the day out like that every morning, even when I have to get on a flight at 6 a.m. and it's dark out and cold and rainy out here, you know, I'm still gonna go out and do it. It doesn't matter. Doing things that aren't, normal people don't wanna go out and do is gonna, you know, help you have that mindset also in every other aspect of your life as well. I mean, for me, it's like cold water is not gonna beat me. I win. I'm gonna get in it. I'm gonna sit in it. So. Yeah, it's that, that's been a huge thing for me. And then also, you know, studying some of the Wim Hof breathing techniques and cold water exposure and what it's done for the immune system. One of the reasons why I started looking into, into immune system stuff was the fact that I was getting sick at least two to two times a year once I had kids. And obviously kids are around other little kids and they all have germs and dirty and they don't wash your hands. And so, you know, your immune system starts to get crushed and then you start getting sick over and over again. So haven't gotten sick, knock on wood, since doing the cold exposure every day and the breathing techniques with it. So yeah, that's been huge for me. What I do when I get in it, I get in it every morning. I typically take, I try to get into it about neck deep, at least, at least, uh, you know, above my chest line and my, my hands are in the water. You don't have to start that way. You know, you can start out a little easier. You can start out with cold showers if you want. I didn't, I jumped into the cold tub. I just, I didn't sit in it as long as I am, am now. It took me a little bit, you know, I worked into it. I typically am in it for about four minutes total. Right at the end, I dunk my head, try to hold my breath a little bit underwater, not very long, like five, 10 seconds at the most. While I'm in the cold tub, all I'm really thinking about, it's almost becomes a form of meditation for me to where all I'm really thinking about is the breath that I'm on. And so I'm just counting my breaths and I'm just doing deep breathing. I'm not doing the Wim Hof breathing in the cold tub. All I'm doing is deep, deep breaths. So I'm just, just like that, you know, just taking like almost like yoga breaths, I guess you can call them. So I start a clock when I get in, I don't look at it. Uh, but I just like to see how long I was in for. I've come to find like 20 to 22 breaths. If you're going nice and slow and not rushing your breath, uh, you're gonna get about three, forty-five, four minutes in the tub. At that point, you know, obviously when you get out, you wanna, wanna warm up as fast as possible. I don't like to go and take a hot shower. There for a little bit I did. I'd go in and run in to take a warm shower. I've gotten used to it to where, you know, I just kinda towel off and have a cup of coffee right after and I'm good. There we go. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below, subscribe, do the thing. And as always, don't forget to pay the man. Mm -hmm.